what if the ground was made up of trampolines? So I wanted to find out that if a meteor hit the Earth, what would happen? <laughs> Specifically, how, so how high the meteor that killed the dinosaurs could have thrown a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to find out if you could send a whole bunch of T-Rexes into space. Probably. And I'm wa- guessing the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. The, the, the Energy-wise, yeah, definitely it could have happened. But because of how this indestructible trampoline is really a physics breaking thing like there isn't a max capacity for deformation and everything it really didn't work so i I tried for a while but it does it was physics was too broken to make physics happen and numbers to come out right so sadly there are no space (laughs) t-rexes so what i did was in good old internet fashion I decided to do a top three winners and losers of the trampoline ground. (laughs) Yay. So who's best off and who is worst off? Do you guys want to start with the winners or the losers? Let's start with losers. And end on a high note. Yeah, let's start with losers. Okay. So my first one I have listed here was actually race car drivers. But Ben already talked about how cars don't work. Yep. (laughs) But as he was talking about, also what Ben was talking about was all the, uh, you know, how you get such strong calves. Mm Mm-hmm. Which got me thinking, actually, one of the biggest losers has got to be cows. Because <laughs> of animals that are not going to fare well on a bouncy ground, cows have got to be near the top of the list. I feel like anything, actually, just anything that moves by, like, galloping, right? That doesn't work like, anymore, right? Yeah. Like, cow tipping's a thing, right? Like, <laughs> cows are just going to be tipped all the time. <laughs> They'll just bounce right back up. <laughs> They're not going to, though. Cows are not going to know what the fuck is going on. What happens if you... Wait, hold on. What happens if you drop a cat on a trampoline floor? I, I think you get scratched, I think is what happens. <laughs> it, it attacks you. Well, yeah. But so, okay. So, like, initially it lands on its feet, but then what happens? <laughs> I don't think cats weigh enough. I think cat would just be like, nothing. I just feel like, like a oh. cat would, like, cling to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They would definitely hold on to it. Cats will become the new, like, they'll become immobile. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, does anyone have it worse than cows? Cows um, are pretty actually, bad. The tortoise has to have it the worst. I mean, is a tortoise oh. affected? I feel like any light animal isn't really affected. It's the heavier animals. Well, except that if something goes by them, they get flipped on their back, and now they have just no shot. Uh, yeah, like oh, yeah. <laughs> on a perfectly flat ground, they can maybe have a chance of rolling themselves over. But if they get into that little divot of their weight, they're never flipping over. Mm-hmm. So that is my first loser. Uh, cross out race car drivers, right cows, done, <laughs> in the book. <laughs> Good substitute. Second one, waiters and waitresses. Oh, no. <laughs> because, yeah, you're talking about how like your daily life's not affected too much, but if your daily life is carrying food and drinks that <laughs> in any kind of balanced fashion... I've, I've always been really impressed with their balance. Yeah, I'm going to be even more impressed now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be super I mean, they, impressed. They can do it with roller skates. So maybe they can do a trampoline. We should start a trampoline restaurant. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say try a, a trampoline roller skate park. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Make Wait, everyone I, I sign eight saying, waivers. I think I want to clarify for Chris. I don't think he was saying delivering food on a trampoline is easier with roller skates. I think he was saying waiters and waitresses oh. at places like Sonic already do it <laughs> yeah, on roller skates. That that therefore, trampolines it. aren't that much harder. That but makes I think they really much are. more sense. <laughs> Yeah, trampolines are definitely harder. Yeah. Because, yeah, rollerblades, like, at least give you, like, that smooth... There's no up-down right. um, in rollerblades. <laughs> it's really on the trampoline that you're going to have super big problems. You have to just go, like, super slow, which isn't super conducive to your job as a waiter waitress. Maybe, maybe just restaurants no longer worry about the appearance of your food. You just get it in, like, a, a sealed tarpware container that you open up. <laughs> it's like, I'll have the soup. You fucker. All salads <laughs> are toss salads. <laughs> All soups suddenly now cost four hundred dollars, right. so people don't order them. Right? Actually, no, they just come like a thermos. Boom, done. <laughs> All right, and now for my my last loser, um, sumo wrestlers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for and I'm gonna call the bowl problem because <laughs> it's already really hard to get a sumo wrestler out of a very flat ring. It's going to be impossible to get him to go uphill. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I think sumo wrestling is just kind of like now in two like heavy people like being that, uncomfortably close to each other in the really middle f- of a bowl. funny to watch that. Yeah, I, I really want to see <laughs> a, you know, 400 or whatever pound man get thrown onto his back and then just like go bouncing and sprawling away. That would be incredible. <laughs> well, I think what Marcus is saying is that 
the middle will deform enough that they'll both be just like forced into each other and they'll just be pressed into each other for the for the entire match. I guess that's true, yeah. Oh man. Sumo hugging. <laughs> Sumo wrestlers are gonna have it rough. I will admit. But uh so that, that let's let's jump into our winners then right away. Um but I think you'll be able to appreciate this because this is the obvious one. Basketball. Yes, players. I thought about ba- this. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball becomes just a much better sport. I mean, people because, do this, right? Yeah. Did you know that actually there was televised like trampoline basketball back at some point? I didn't want to say like late '90s or early 2000s. I cannot remember what oh, it was. Was, was it really? like slam ball or something? <laughs> oh, that's such a good name. <laughs> Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. It's such a like ESPN yep. like five. Sport yeah, name. it's it's called it's called slam ball. There are four trampolines in front of each net, and boards around the court edge, so you can't like fly out. Apparently, yeah. So they they were aired. <laughs> of course, they were aired on Spike TV for two seasons in two thousand two and two thousand three. That's very much Spike TV. Yep. Okay, here's my here's my thought though. I think you have the trampolines, but you also double the height of the hoop, so you have to fucking slam jam. Ooh, like. <laughs> Like just have it like this aerobatic display, um, acrobatic. What aerobatic? would uh, what would like dribbling be? <laughs> Gone, just jumps. It's all dunks and jumps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Second winner. Ben talked a bunch about injuries, so I almost ditched this, but he didn't cover the person who's actually got, what doctor is going to make the most money, and it is the band aid salesman, because people are going to have just perpetually skinned elbows and knees. <laughs> I like that you called a, a band-aid salesman a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, band-aid salesman isn't a real job title. So I was like, where do you get your band-aids from? I guess CVS. I guess CVS makes out, but I don't want CVS to make out. Mr. You know? Band-aid MD. <laughs> yes, hi, I'm Mr. Band-aid. Hi, I'm Dr. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Band-aid. I went to Band-aid college for six years. <laughs> yeah. I admit, there is going to be some competition with knee pad and elbow pad salesmen. Ooh, true. Because... Once you go through a bunch of band-aids or just yeah, you're gonna learn like wow, I'm very tired of having no skin on my <laughs> on right. my joints. Actually, is everyone just wear like motorcycle gear all the time to avoid like skin stuff? <laughs> That's an option. <laughs> I spend most of my life trying to avoid skin stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then my last winner I got on my list here is firefighters. Huh. Cause I think half of a firefighter's job, at least, is either, like, getting people to come down from or getting going up to get people from high places. This Cats is true. Too. Cats, too. So, like, you go with a fire truck. You don't have to go with a fire truck. You can just see a fire, and someone's like, help me, I'm on the second floor. And you would be like, jump. jump. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking tr- you don't even have to trust fall. Just jump. <laughs> just I don't even do need it. to bring any of the equipment. Just do it. And, like, I think it makes getting a cat out of a tree easier too because like to get a cat out of the tree you do have to worry about the cat's safety like because um, the cat's the not cat, gonna jump yeah right. the cat's not gonna jump or not want to jump and if he like if you do something to directly make the cat fall you could injure them because they fall 10 feet so you have to like get pick up the cat and b- carry him down which is really not a uh, a great proposition if you know how cats work <laughs> right but now you don't really have to worry about the cat falling because he's gonna be fine if he lands on the trampoline so just like shoot him with the fire hose. I don't know. Like <laughs> knock the cat out of the tree, <laughs> or maybe you know scare the cat out. Like like maybe not directly hit the cat with the fire hose unless there's like a low setting because <laughs> those do do a lot of damage. <laughs> I don't think there's a low setting on fire hoses. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a knob you can. <laughs> it has a put out fire setting yep. and an off setting. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's just got off and oh fuck, there's a fire. (laughs) 